what's going on. In this problem, we're going to prove that if you have A congruent to B modulo N and C congruent to D modulo N, then AC is congruent to BD modulo N. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like you're multiplying, right? Like AC, BD, AC, BD. Cool proof. So proof. So this is an if-then uh, statement, okay? Um, so typically in these types of problems, you start by assuming this, right? And then you just have to show this is true. So we'll suppose that we have that. So suppose that A is congruent to B modulo N and C is congruent to D modulo N. So and C is congruent to D modulo N, right? And uh, we have to kind of use these somehow, right? So let me go ahead and write this down again and just emphasize what each one means. So since A is congruent to B modulo N, that's typically what you do in proofs, right? You, you write down the hypothesis and then you just write down uh, what it means and then just go from there. So what does this mean? This means that a minus b is a multiple of n. So that means there exists an integer, let's say k, um, such that a minus b is equal to kn, so such that a minus b is equal to kn. That's what it means for a minus b to be a multiple of n. It means it's equal to an integer times n. Okay, so a minus b is a multiple of n. Now we do the same thing for this one. So since c is congruent to d modulo n, this means there exists an integer. Now we can't use the same letter, right? So let me use R. I like R. I feel like a pirate. <laughs> so there exists an R such that um, C minus D is a multiple of N. So C minus D is equal to Rn. All right, so again, what have, what have we done and what are we trying to do? So we're trying to prove that if both of these conditions are true, then this is true. So we start the proof by assuming this. We did that here. Then we took it a step further and we wrote down what these things actually meant. So I broke it up into two steps. So A congruent to B modulo N, that means A minus B is a multiple of N, that's exactly what that means. C congruent to D modulo N, that means that C minus D is a multiple of N, that's exactly what that means. So now we have to show that AC minus BD is a multiple of N, right? That's what AC congruent to BD modulo N means, right? It means, it means that AC minus BD is a multiple of N, so an integer times N. Let's go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead and write down AC minus BD. Check this out. So the trick here, this is a really clever proof, and the reason I know how to do it is because I did it a long time ago. And I haven't done it recently, but it should work. Um, we want to insert zero somehow, a connecting piece that will allow us to do a clever factoring trick. So watch this. Here we have AC, and the idea is we're going to use BC, right? We're going to insert BC, because here we, or CB, right? Here we have CB or BC, whichever one you want to use. I'll use BC. Or, no, CB. See, I'll use CB because we hear the CC first. So CB. So I'm going to do minus CB plus CB and then minus BD. You say, what? <laughs> so we just added zero. So how did I know to do that? It's because long ago I saw someone do this. And I thought, oh, it's so clever. And... And I remember the trick is that you just take the connecting piece. So watch this. Now you can pull out, look at this, you can pull out the, um, the C here. And so you get A minus B, right? And then here you can pull out the B. And so you get C minus D. Beautiful, right? So if you had put the C B here, you would have had to, you know, I don't know what the word is, rearrange it, right? So that it did work. Um, so you kind of play with it. It's really, really elegant. So again, the connecting piece is CB. You insert it, and that way you can pull out um, a C here and pull out a B here. This is a reoccurring idea in mathematics. It's not, this is not something that's unique to this problem, right? So once you see this once, you try to learn it, you try to incorporate it, you add it to your arsenal, right? Your, your, your arsenal of, of like math skills, and you try to keep it with you, and just know that it's something that you can maybe use in other proofs. So A minus B is Kn, so this is C times Kn, and then plus B. C minus D is Rn, okay? And then we have CK and BR, we can pull that out. This is actually CK plus, um, oh, I have to be careful here. Yeah, I'm trying to show it's a multiple of n, so I'm pulling out everything except the n, right? So, so no, we're pulling out, we're pulling out the n. Yeah, pulling out the n, so this is CK plus BR times n. Yeah, it looks okay. Right, this is an integer times n, an integer times n, an integer times n. Why is this an integer? Well, let me just say it's an integer, then I'll tell you. Where ck plus br is an integer. Why? c is an integer, k is an integer, therefore the product is an integer. b is an integer, r is an integer, therefore the product is an integer. The sum of integers is an integer, so it's an integer. 
So AC minus BD is a multiple of N. So this means that AC is congruent to BD modulo N. So that's the key part right there in the proof. So hopefully that made some sense. Um, that's it. Take care. Until next time.